I'm looking for Nipsey. There's no Nipsey here. Tell you a story. <laughs> a man named Black he kicks a lot of butt, knows kung fu. Think Shaft plus kung fu. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Black Dynamite is a film within a film. The movie is very much aware that you're watching a film and it mm-hmm. does nothing to uh, preserve that immersion. Because every once in a while, the boom mic will creep, creep into the shot. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight. The only way I know how. Or there'll be a, a stunt that went wrong and then I switch the, the stunt man in the middle. I am. Motherfucker. So this is supposed to be like a, a fake grindhouse uh, black exploitation film from the 70s. And I gotta say, I think it's presented beautifully. I think it looks so good. Freeze turkeys. Dynamite. Like I forgot how how authentic this movie looks. It's very much like watching a Dolomite film where the production values are low, like real low. And mm-hmm. <laughs> the best way to enjoy it is just to ignore all of the all the uh, all the film mistakes and stuff like that. So it, it's it's a lot of fun to watch the movie and then watch it again while looking in the background. The the opening scene, these guys about to do a drug deal. The dude in the limousine doesn't trust one of these guys. He's like, one of us is not like the other. And y'all look at this guy, and he's like, <laughs> what kind of shakedown is this, you dry turkeys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the hood where I come I from. Come from. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, okay. I told you, Jive Chops. I ain't no snitch. Who said you were? So they lit him up. The police chief that's never seen throughout the rest of the film comes over and just says exactly what the people need to know. He's like, do you know who brother this is? <laughs> Get ready, gentlemen, because hell's a coming. Coming, 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 coming. And he's like having sex with three women at one time. Like, How is yeah. that possible? The movie starts with Black Dynamite's brother being found dead. And he's like out for revenge. He's like, who killed my little brother? <laughs> <laughs> and they had the funniest flashbacks. Where they have a flashback. He's like, I'm 16-year-old Black Dynamite. <laughs> and you're 14-year-old Black Dynamite's little brother. Jimmy, I am 18-year-old Black Dynamite. And you're my 16-year-old kid brother. And he's on the phone with his aunt. I thought you promised your mama on her deathbed you was going to get him off that stuff, Black Dynamite. And she, she's like, huh? <laughs> like, I hope it ain't like when you promised your mama you was going to get him off of that stuff for the rest of his natural life. And then she would be like, she said this several times. And now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's your only brother, Jimmy. <laughs> he's dead, Dynamite. Jimmy's dead. Now he's dead. There's lots of like purposeful bad acting. Like I, I, I love this. That's really fun. That's really funny to me. Not only is the drugs, but they're trying to figure out what, you know, is going on at this factory where they're making anaconda malt liquor. Because anaconda right. malt liquor make it go woo. Anaconda malt liquor gives you woo. Gives you what? Woo. What makes this film thrive is the characters. Is you know not only do you have Black Dynamite. But you have bullhorn, you got cream corn, okay? <laughs> Don't forget about the pimp. Chocolate giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chocolate giddy up. Chocolate giddy up. Shut up, tasty. I'm gonna turn you on to the game when you were in my little jailhouse tramp. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Captain King, One of the things I like about this movie. Um, is that it's a movie about movies and it's about the love of movies, right? You can tell that uh, in the real world, right? A lot of love went into making this movie look uh, authentically janky. But then if you go one layer deeper, right? Into whatever world this movie exists in, you can tell those people also tried their best. They tried their hardest. They were copying, you know, every other, you know, cool film they'd ever seen before. Again, a lot like uh, Dolomite did in his films. They even specify that Michael J. White, Jai White's character, Black Dynamite, is played by a different guy who's 
a former NFL player. You know, again, that 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 was that was really popular back in the seventies when like Jim Brown became an actor mm-hmm. and all these like really shitty OJ Simpson. Films. Yeah, OJ Simpson was too. Yeah. So he's like he's like a former running back or something like that. Black Dynamite starring all-star running back Ferrante Jones. Fashion model Tambula to come. The movie gets so weird. By the end of the film, we're in the White House with Richard Nixon and Richard Nixon as nunchucks. Come on, little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Black Dynamite backhands the first lady <laughs> into a cabinet. <laughs> And I was pleasantly surprised to find that a lot of the humor, a lot of the jokes still hold up. They end up at this factory because they get a tip that that's where the drugs are being produced. But it turns out it's just the Anaconda Mall Liquor Factory. Mm-hmm. What's up with that? It ends up basically saying, Anaconda Mall Liquor gives you a little bit. <laughs> and one of the guys took one of those bottles. He kept saying, hey, y'all need to take some of this. this yeah. good. It's he, took a, he took a six pack. Y'all should have grabbed some of this shit. This shit is incredible. <laughs> They bust into his apartment and he's like, oh, he's suffering. <laughs> Do you want to live? I forgot about how violent the movie was. All of our main characters get horrifically murdered. But I think what really takes this movie over the top and what makes it like a genuinely fun movie is that Michael Jai White has really good comedic timing and yes. he's an actual martial artist. And so the movie, while it does, it has all these funny moments and stuff like that, the movie will actually stop to show off some like actual skills. Mm-hmm. I think that's really fun. So I think Michael Jai White was like mm-hmm. perfectly cast for this, which is one of the reasons why I'm so excited about the spiritual sequel to this film that comes out this week. Which by the way, with the nunchucks, that one scene where he met up with Chicago Wind, mm-hmm. <laughs> he, he threw the nunchucks Kicked some dudes and the nunchucks just came back like a boomerang. <laughs> <Right. laughs> it's actually a really clever shot where the, the shot hangs on one guy he's fighting, and it would appear Black Dynamite is teleporting around the room. <laughs> what I like so much about this film is not just the film itself and how aware that the film is, it's the fact that it spawned so many other things. It spawned a cartoon. It spawned inspiration from for other creators. If you guys notice, we reviewed They Clone Tyrone, and the, one of the biggest inspirations of that uh, the director was this film, because he put Anaconda Malt Liquor in the film. <laughs> right. So the movie is really creative. It's really fun and wacky. It's like a love letter to a, a bygone era of film. It is both very complimentary to this era, with, with a lot of Michael Jai White's uh, martial arts and stuff like that. But it's also showing how janky a lot of it was. <laughs> Made by, you know, semi-professional or just like complete amateurs. But that adds to the charm of actual 70s black exploitation films and uh, the charm of this film too, where it tries to recreate how effed up and messed up a lot of the production values of that was. I like movies that seem to agree with me that movies sure are fun. You can tell the difference between a movie where it's like a passion project and a movie where this is just like, let's see how much money we can get, you know? <laughs> and then the people in there are having fun. You can tell yeah, they're having fun. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just give this film an A. I love it. Yeah, I'm giving it an A2, although I'll be honest, it's most because of nostalgia because I just, I, I, I it's hard to get over like how I felt when I first saw it and I still enjoyed it to today. This kind of um, purposefully janky movie, it, we, we saw another movie like that, uh, I think it was last year. Uh, Velocal Pastor, and so oh God. <laughs> you could tell by like your reactions of Velocal Pastor that not mm. a lot of people understand this like layer thing, right? And so yeah. a lot of people they don't they 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 don't like it. It was still fun though. It was yeah, still I, fun. I love Velocal Pastor. I will take a hundred Velocal Pastors over the Last Voyage of the Meters. You know what I'm saying? Even though I like that movie too, but this movie probably isn't for everyone because I think some people will look at this and be like. What? Because <laughs> <What? laughs> it is bizarre and it is weird. If you're not aware that this is a purposefully bad film, you know, you just you just you just think it's just just a bad film. Even though this is supposed to be a purposefully bad film, I actually enjoyed the film that it that it was trying to make. You recommend people to see it, man? I would, because again, I have, I've never showed this movie to someone that didn't laugh. It's a cult classic today for a reason. Uh, and again, I think if you like movies, this is a movie about movies. 
So it's, it's a lot of fun to be had. I am definitely recommending this for people to see. But more importantly, do you recommend this film? Have you seen Black Dynamite? I hope you have, okay? <laughs> so get in the comments and let us know what you thought about that film. Scram! I said split! Shake the scene, you turkeys! Get out of my house! I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We really appreciate you. You guys are really awesome. Our subscriber count is going up and it's because people are subscribing to us. You know, they're a part of this program, all right? So if you wanna get to the program, please hit that subscribe button right at the bottom, all right? Become a part of this reviewing family. And if you did like our rating and review for this film, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. Or you can hit that thumbs down, whichever you choose. It is your opinion, but just remember one thing. It's mostly Holy oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you in another fantastic groovy review. Can you dig it? Oh, it's done, brother. It's done, brother. <laughs> <laughs>